，瑞金兄弟，哎，那你两脚前了干嘛？就比如说，听听 Metal in Hell。Okay, yes, right. So the first song we heard from Metal Hell singer was very, very good. We really, really liked it. It was featuring Alisa Whiteglass from Arch Enemy, who we are not the greatest fan of, but we liked anyway. And this is、um, No Tomorrow, featuring none other than Serge Tankian from System of a Down. Which is also a band I'm not that much of a fan of. I、right? just know Chop Suey and probably another couple of songs whose titles I don't remember because we listen to unknown stuff and forget that the big ones exist. Yes,、um, but I'm really hyped about this at this point. I'm really hyped about this too. I looked a bit into the game. There's a bunch of songs all featuring metal musicians, so we're probably gonna end up doing more. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if for the whole soundtrack or just a song or two, the drummer was Adam Janzi from Bola, which is another band I really like. So. This is looking really sweet for me. This soundtrack, we're definitely gonna be doing more. So are you in? No. Evil bird.
only two minutes left. It's so much. We don't pause when we have one minute left. Unless this is happening to my brain. I'm overloaded. Like, I can, I can see the smoke coming out of my head. Can you see it? No. You're blind, because they will, because I'm gonna put it in the end. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, okay. It's so versatile. I could catch a chorus twice, but otherwise it's just going everywhere. So, you can't really spot a structure on a first listen. This dude is such a vocal acrobat. It honestly feels like he just wrote something First, and then the instruments somehow try keeping along. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, because usually the instrumentals are written first, but it's like, it's like, it feels like he's a spearhead and everything's such somehow trying to keep up. <laughs> yeah, like he's so out there with everything. He doesn't hold back. Not with the cleans, not with the screens, not with that chanting melody. It's, and he's so bloody versatile. Like, I would not have expected this. People who only know like the cliche few, System of a Down songs, they have no idea what this guy is actually capable of. Yeah. It's, it's so cool. So it's like, it's, it's that sort of song that has immediate hook and memorability because of that anthem and because yeah. of the chorus. And, but then it also has like shock. Yeah. So th this is the most effective sort of song on a first listen for me, where it definitely has something that will make your jaw hit the ground so hard it might tear a hole through the floor, but also immediately have something that you'll remember. So that's, that's the key of it to me, which made this song so good. Yeah. And I want to give a massive shout out to the drum transitions, the stops and starts again, and all the progressive intricacies that keep coming. They don't break the pace at all. Like you could just keep headbanging along, but they throw these sparks of flair in there that are just so cool and mix everything up. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's a very unique style of drumming. Like it's not like hard rock or anything. It's not necessarily progressive. But it's also not like death metal and blast beats and double kicks all the time. So it's it's very much adapting to everything else that's happening in the song. It actually gets me a bit of thinking about the drum sounds on Doom. But it is more dynamic and more technical in a way. Yeah. But texture-wise, it kind of has that vibe. And actually, production-wise, it is impeccable and explosive and ray bursting and spew splattering and I'm just stopping it. Let's hear the last two minutes. And you will ever never know I live my life for you Your songs bring no tomorrow Like a blow everything through oh, yeah. Nothing can stop us now We'll never cease to be I am as satisfied as I am face melted and brain melted.
<laughs> that was water, by the way. Yes. I needed to put in everything that oozed out of my body while that was burning. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I say, two songs in, probably, I'm going to wait for a few more songs before I'm, I'll say for sure, but quite probably the best gaming soundtrack we found yet. I mean, I'd hold on that because of Call of Duty and Killer Instinct, and Doom if we're honest, like all those are, are spectacularly good, but... It might end up being that on the long run because this is like specifically tailor made for metalheads. Yes. And this is getting me hyped about checking out more System of a Down, man. Yeah. Like, this dude is such a vocal acrobat. There's like two, at least two style of cleans, at least two styles of screams. Like it's like he's like four in one. Like Lego creators, you know, the sets that he can make more stuff with the same parts. That's him. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> and the whole sound is so diverse yeah and so full you know it has a lot of melody all the time it has a lot of groove it has a lot of riffs it, like it has energy yeah but it's very musical and very engaging all the time yeah it has technical aspects that blow your mind it has a like the production quality is off the charts the sound design features and wind effects and background elements everything is like just adding extra spice it feels like <coughs> it, it feels like like going and having a real pizza at a real italian pizzeria versus ordering dominoes it feels like the real deal like it's so authentic so its own thing i haven't heard anything like it mm -hmm. and it's it's complex but engaging and yeah. direct in a way. I think I think that's what gets I think that's what gets progress that aren't snob. Like yeah. If you're a prog person and you're not a snob, then the songs you will appreciate most are those that are very complex but very engaging at the same time. If you're a snob, then you only need it to be complex so you can shove it in other people's faces, like me do. <laughs> but despite that, we can still appreciate this. So it Give was more Helsinger requests. Yeah, it was just so good. The production quality as well, the sound quality, the riffs, the drumming. Who writes this stuff? I have no idea. Let us know who writes this stuff and if they're doing anything else. Seriously. I want. Are we done here? Yes. Thank you, JBC, and the JBC, the likes and shares. And if you want to more, don't forget to subscribe. We bell. Thank you very much for coming back. Don't be JBC. We'd love to see you back at the window. There is, of course, yeah.